Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where Ranger and Ren we post videos of our gameplays, figure unboxing and reviews and generally geeky related stuff so if you're into those please feel free to check our other videos and if you like them consider subscribing to our channel because it helps us out a lot and I would totally appreciate that. For today's video I am wearing a yukata because I'm feeling extra and, <laughs> and it's been uh, a couple of years since I last wore one and I really like how it looks and feels so also I think it suits the subject of today's figure unboxing and review because we have the cute posket uh, Kenshin Himura and also Q Posket Batosai Himura yeah so these um, were supposed to be released um, last year in conjunction with the uh, two recent movies, uh, the live action movies, uh, Rudo Uni Kenshin, The Final, and The Beginning. But since those were delayed to this year, they just came out recently, uh, the figures followed suit. So, cute posket, this one from, uh, this one with Kenshin Himura. Uh, this was released. Uh, I believe June and then the Bato Sahimura version uh, w was after a month so yeah as you can see these are really really cute just from looking at the box so without further ado let's get on with the unboxing all right so um we're gonna do this side by side at the same time now of course we have the box let's have a look at the q posket uh himura kenshin first but actually their packaging is pretty much the same like as with um the other q poskets you've got tons of <laughs> Um, images of the figure all around the box like see here's a close-up and the back features an image of the whole figure on the sides we've got um, like a half body shot and then at the bottom of the side we've got the comparison between the two colorways this is, uh, of, of course, I've got A, the default color. This one is to B. Also, we have another angle here. And the box just says, pretty simple. It's pretty simple, actually. Keep Hosket. Kenshin. And uh, it just says, put a Kenshin here. And thy logo. Same on the side. And the back. The logo for Uni Kenshin. Some information about product, website. Oh, top also has the same image and this logo, this logo just says approved by Shubaisha. Same. This one is the um, Mura Batosai version. Also has a lot of images of the figure all around the box. Yeah, I really like the uh, motive of the box, though. Uh, and you've got Japanese style patterns. So the Kenshin Himura version has more of a red 
motive and the um, but Toysai Himura has the blue one. Right. Okay. So let's open. Um, let's go with the Henshin Himura one first. Also, you've got the information, the QR code for the uh, Ban Presto um, website. Getting their Facebook page. Here's the box inside. Set this aside. Let's cut off this tape. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Yes, with other key baskets of um, every part. Well, it's it's packaged in one whole plastic, and uh, each part is divided. Hold on, let me open this. So we got the base. Oh, look at that! I, one of the prettiest <laughs> bases for figures, I gotta say, belongs to cute poskets. Now, this sword. <laughs> so you've got the hand attached to it. So they packaged it separately from the actual body to keep it nice, secure, prevent it from breaking. Because these parts can be very fragile. So cool, look at that. Hey! Here's the body. That really nice color, really nice red color. This kimono. And the got the white hakama. And of course, the head. Yeah, all right, it looks so cute. Now, uh, look at those beady, glassy eyes. Nice sculpt on the hair. So let's attach. Alright, there you go. So basically, you need a sword to rest on the top part of the sword, rest on his shoulders. Uh, the hand part. Need a, a bit of a bit of elbow grease to get it to attach properly. I don't want to break anything. Just have to be careful. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. There you go. He <laughs> looks so cute. So, so let's attach him to the base. Let's 
So I'm going to place him here for now. And then let's move on to the Himura Batosai version. Okay. All right, so got same base. Same base as for the uh, Henshin Himura version. Sword. Oh, okay. No, oh, this is just a sword. It doesn't have the hand attached to it. Then you've got the body. Okay, so his spotted side version is colored blue. Oh, okay. His sleeves are torn. <laughs> All the battles encountered. Yeah, all right. This looks so cool. Really different from his um, Kenshin Himura self. His Akama is whiter. This is an actual white. This one is more an off white color. Kind of gray. Also got that same beady glassy eyes, round eyes. <laughs> and the incredible sculpting of the hair. It's really nice. Yeah. Be flowy. Oh, okay. So let's this I think I'm gonna place him face first and then the sword So let's check them out side by side. <laughs> They're both so cute. Like, I mean, um, it all looks natural for uh, the Kenshin Himura version because his ports um, are rather uh, more gentle expression. With a hint of a smile. Brown eyes really suit him. But as for um, Batosa Himura, <laughs> it's got a serious, a more serious expression here. It's not smiling at all. Yeah, also got his eyebrows brown, but he still looks cute because of the glassy, beady, round eyes. So they're the same. Is just different, so yeah. Now, uh, skin tone looks really good. Now, um, it might not show up on camera, but uh, Henshin, Henshin Himura does have a bit of a rough patch um, uh, on the side of his mouth right here. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, yeah, 
they did this car pretty well, like, it's not engraved or anything. It's also just painted on. The other one here. We have the complete cross car on the other. Other than that, the paint job on the face is really nice. The hair, again, this, as I've already mentioned, even in the uh, Nezuko Kupas kit, I really like how um, how they do the hair sculpt. Yeah. Lines. Hair. They love it. The bangs. Same thing. Color is clean. Even his his ponytail, right here, the bathu side version. Oh, okay, it's also blue, and then this one is red. Just don't notice it really well because it's tied down. What else, sleeves on this one again. I'm I'm gonna say it. I really like. Um, they put this detail sleeve. Um, I just wish that the paint, because you can see this is it's shiny. I wish they could have made it just matte, matte color. Probably darker, maybe. This one, the, the uh, red, it is, yeah, it just matches it really well. I like the color on this one. And also, uh, there are a couple of you know, the, the rough edges. It's called. I mean, the, the details, the folds of the kimono and everything, they did an amazing job here. Um, if you just like, touch it, you're gonna feel some rough edges. And also, yeah, there's just some minor, very, very minor paint splotches, just very minor. Nothing really bad. Other than that, everything else is clean. Even on the swords. I like the detail on the swords, by the way. But overall, I am quite happy with these figures. And yeah, I really like them. Yeah, they look together with this, uh, they look good played together like side by side which is also one of the reasons why I picked up both of them okay well then um, that's it for the unboxing and review and I'll see you in a bit I am a huge fan of Rural Uni Kenshin and these cute baskets are just perfect for my collection like if you're also looking into you know something to add to your uh, Rudokan collection or just you know plain cute baskets these are highly recommended like as you can see these are super super cute they're they've got great quality for an affordable price and you can't you, you just can't go wrong with it. These are the cutest uh, Rudokan figures that you can get right now. So, yeah. I am totally happy with these guys. <laughs> of course, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you also a fan of Rudokan? And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.